Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another Civilization 6 video. Today we're going to talk about encampments and whether or not you need them. And I think that encampments is an interesting subject. So the district itself is a weird one. You have to put it, I believe you have to put it two spaces away from the city center. I don't know if you have to put it two, di two spaces away from other districts initially. But you have to put it two, two sexes away from the city center. There we go. Um, and what it does is, I think there's some undervalued and overvalued things about it. So first, it allows you to train soldiers that gain more XP. This is a really, really good ability. Um, it makes it so that... My, my favorite thing to do is if the soldier is fighting, and they're kind of like at half health and they get a promotion, you just promote them and heal them. I really like that ability. What it also lets you do is uh, eventually once you upgrade the buildings, it allows you to train cores and armies for a reduced cost. And what I mean by that is, let's just say it takes you five turns to make one unit. Maybe it takes you only eight turns to make an army instead of 15 turns to make an individual of three units. That's just an example. I don't really think that has happened before, but. The discount's not that big. What it also does, the encampment, is it allows you to have extra production. It adds a little bit of production, which can be useful if you spawn in a big open field. I've actually used this to my advantage. One time I had a spawn where I spawned in a big tundra and I needed production, and the encampment saved the day. And, I mean, it gives a, di a district adjacency bonus. I can't say that right. But I think... <clears throat> what sucks about the encampment is that you can't destroy it. You can't get rid of an encampment in a city. And that holds it back. It takes a district slot to build an encampment. And when you have this encampment, it limits you to, as soon as that city stops producing units, the encampment's useless. And I have situations where I use the encampment to capture some cities and then I take like my capital which has an encampment in it and I can't build a theater square, an industrial zone, and a commercial hub. I have to pick between two of them because that's you know what I want to build in my city and the camera is not focusing on me. It does not like me. And then you pair that with the fact that yeah, you can have your encampment, and when you're not building units, it's whatever, and then you build the aerodome, and you got airports and airlifting, and then I guess the encampment becomes more useful again. But I feel like building too many encampments just doesn't work very well. Unless you're the Zulu, or maybe you're being cheeky with Poland, because the Zulu, the encampment's really honestly a bit overpowered as the Zulu because it lets you build armies and cores without the buildings and it's cheap to produce but I mean, if you're going to war a lot and you don't need to defend either the fact that the encampment has the health and the walls just kind of goes to waste I mean I guess it helps with barbarians but I feel like this is my opinion right now I feel like an industrial zone is better than an encampment in every way Maybe not in the XP way, but in the production way, it lets you pump out units faster, right? You put the two together, it's really good, but then you're losing out on like a commercial hub or a harbor or whatever like that for unit maintenance. So my thing with encampments is I try not to build too many. I might build one or two, but those are for like the kind of like, okay, you're making units. And when you go to war, sometimes you just put it in overdrive and take every city and build a unit. So they're going to be building units anyways. So, as a balancing act, I feel like you should have at least one or two encampments. To make those early set of troops that get those early promotions fast. But I feel like, especially in the mid-game, you don't need a lot of encampments. I feel like they just take up a district slot that you could be using to make like an economy that makes it so you can buy stuff in the late game or 
You can make it so you can rush past the mid game with campuses. You know, anything. I, I just feel like a big mid game army, if you don't have one already, building up an army in the, in the mid game just doesn't work very well. At least to my experience in Civilization VI. And that's what I think about encampments. So, do you really need one? I don't know. It's it's a touchy subject to me, or not a touchy subject, an in a balancing act. I feel like early game, a couple would do well. Late game, eh, I don't know. Mid game, absolutely not. I, I don't think encampments are very useful, but I would like to know what you guys think about encampments in the comments below. My favorite thing about Civ is that everyone can have an opinion on how to play the game, and at least in a normal game, so many things can happen that no one strategy is the king, and I love it about Civ. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.